What's up, guys? How are you doing this morning? It's probably not morning when you're watching it, but it's morning when I'm recording this right now. So it's, it's pretty early right now. Welcome back to another video. I'm about to get some breakfast. I'm going to get a tamal and some bread. Bread is my thing, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get this breakfast, get this bread, and I'll touch back in with you guys. Welcome back to another episode, another video of Vlogmas. Monday through Friday, except Saturday and Sunday, for the rest of December. Let's go. Show you what it do. Oh yeah, loco, escúchame bien. Si puedo lograr todo, pues tú puedes también. Ahora tengo carros, ahora tengo casas. Ahora todo está fluido como sangre de la raza. Let me introduce you to the reason. Y una, un tamal. So guys, um, sorry for the energy, you know, I'm not all, eh, just regular day, regular life. I, I watch a lot of other YouTubers, oh yeah, by the way, I'm eating breakfast, I'm eating a tamal bread and hot chocolate, pretty much it for the breakfast. I woke up this morning, I worked a bit, then I went out to get some, um, some breakfast to bring home to eat in the neighborhood over here. So I'm about to watch some YouTube videos. I, li I like to watch family channels, entertainment, anime. And I like to watch other YouTubers that are vlogging around here in Colombia and stuff like that. And I notice that a lot of them, you know, they carry more energy. You know what I'm saying? They carry more energy. They're out there doing these different things, exploring Colombia, other places, hanging out with a whole lot of people. Honestly, that look expensive, man. I'm cheap as hell. So, when you watch my day in the life videos, it's probably not that exciting. Everybody who travels aren't living that kind of lifestyle. Or maybe they are. All right? Um, when I do exciting things like that, you will see. You will notice. And I will publish it and I record it. But on a daily, I'm not doing much. That's why I really enjoy my history videos because I like to travel and learn about the places I go to and also interact with the people. But I'm just not to the extreme as some of these other YouTubers are. But I like watching their videos, man. They're, it's very entertaining, you know. They be showing parts of Colombia that seem very interesting. Sometimes I'm like bullshit with the, the way they live in certain, I mean, on the way they're, they're, they're living their life because I'm like, that's not real but then again it is because the way they live is not the same as the way I live I just live a normal life a lot of expats or people here in Colombia or other countries they live in the major cities I live in a town I do town things I do regular things but um but yeah the premise for today's video sorry for eating I hope you're eating breakfast with me right now too or eating something with me the premise for today's video is to show you how insurance operates here in Colombia when having a vehicle. There are certain things that you need to consider when having a vehicle, whether it's a car, a truck, a motorcycle, a tractor trailer, a van, whatever the case may be. If you plan on owning a vehicle here in Colombia, there are certain things to keep in mind. So I will be going through that with you guys a little bit today. I'm not going to give you the whole gist. I'm just going to run through the basics because I do have to renew my mandatory insurance. And I'm just also coming up on me to renew my admissions report for my car. So just some things to consider if you plan on getting a car or something in Colombia per se, because every country operates differently. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. Watch some YouTube videos, some anime <laughs> and lifestyle videos, 
and I'll check back in with you guys on the information. It is kind of early, so I'll check back in you with you later. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these videos, and check out my history videos. Next time, I'm gonna try to see if I can give you guys a behind the scenes one of these days. So guys, I got a bit more energy now. Um, it's actually a whole new day because <laughs> I didn't really finish the video when I started it because I did something else like sleep. But after I ate lunch, no, after I ate breakfast, I did other things during the day, then I just forgot to finish the video. So some things to consider when having a vehicle here is that you need to pay certain things. So of course, like always, you need to pay your insurance. Um, you have two types of insurance. You have your mandatory insurance, which is called a SOAT and you have a secondary insurance which is optional i don't know the name but the secondary insurance it provides more coverage and you also have to pay your admissions test which is called tecnomecanico and you also have to pay your taxes yearly on the car right so i have to renew my insurance so i'm going to show you how to do it online and I'm going to also show you what some of the facilities or what the facility would look like. Also, I'm not going to show you the admission test yet because I don't have to renew that yet. But when I do, I will try to bring you guys along for the ride. The insurance that I have is called Seguros Mundial. Right? Seguros Mundial. So this insurance provides coverage. It's your mandatory insurance and it provides coverage with for your car, for your motorcycle, for your van, for your truck, whatever the case may be, it provides insurance for that mandatory. And you need to have this. If you don't have your SOAT, you can't drive your vehicle or you would get a ticket. And then they'll impound your car. The first one is the SOAT. That's what we're talking about today. How to renew your SOAT is that you can do it online. So the website is soatmundial.com.co and you can also re renew them in their points of interest. You can renew it at the gas station. You can renew it at the grocery store. You can renew it almost anywhere, really. When you enter online, this is what the website looks like. Seguros Mundial. Over here you have your information, doubts. You can contact them through WhatsApp, right? And it shows you many other things here that I'm not going to discuss. Just go to the website. When you go to the website, you have to, it says, Ingresa tu placa, which is put in your license plate number, right? So I will do that right now. And then you have to click this. It says you have read all the terms and conditions. All right. So that's my license plate number right there. And then you will click the green button, which means I want my policy, right? So you click that. It loads up. You know, it goes through a stain like internet and then it will tell you the brand of... Oh, it's loading again. Okay. Then it will tell you the brand of your car. Wait, that's the price. So it will tell you the brand of your car, the, the model, the license plate number, the line, and the class. So you stroll down, it should have everything here, which is a family mobile. And then it shows your price right here. Before, this is what the price was. Now the price is this. So it's like you're getting a savings of 30, or in my case, I'll be getting a savings of 39,720 pesos. So the price for me would be about this price right here. 445,680 pesos and then so after you get that you put in all your information which is your ID number the type of ID you have your ID number your name last name your email and your phone number and then you will hit purchase so forms of payment you can pay with your your credit cards or debit card and you can also pay with PSE. What is PSE? PSE is kind of like a transfer thing. So it's like you just pay, you put in your bank account and then you transfer the money to the account that Seguros Mundial have. I pay a lot of things through PSC, so it's just paying things online. It makes things a lot easier. Um, you can also follow them on social media. This is not sponsored by any means. I'm just giving information to you guys who plan on moving to Colombia and plan on buying a vehicle while you're here. That's pretty much it on that part. So you put in your information, it tells you the brand of your car and everything, and then you go from there. 
I'm not going to buy it right now, purchase it right now, renew it right now. I'm actually going to go to one of the points of interest. So if you actually go back, let's go back to Seguros Mundial. Back on the homepage, if you want to find a branch to go to, you can click on information and then you can click on puntos de venta, which is the points of sale. So when you click on puntos de venta, here you have your offices of the points of sale. You have Bogota, Medellin, Cali. You have the state of Cundinamarca. You have the state of Boyacá, the state of Antioquia, the state of Santander, the state of Meta, and the state of Tolima. And then from there, so for example, I have Bogota clicked. So we click Bogota and it tells you all their points of interest. So the names of the places, the address, which is Dirección, the telephone number, and the times that they operate and a lot of these places operate Sunday to Sunday I'm going to actually go to one of these branches right now see if I could bring my camera with me to show you what the branches look like and in my case I'm in a town so it's gonna be small so I'm gonna go to the one of the branches I'm going to purchase my so what there my insurance there and I'll show you more or less what that process looks like if I can capture everything if they allow me to have the camera Let's head out and I hope you guys are, are learning something. So remember to subscribe to the channel if this is something that interests you. Hit that like button because that is a way of supporting the channel. And I know you also like these kind of videos. So now let's head to one of the points of sale. Let's go. Okay guys, so I just left the the Seguros Mundial place. So, like I was saying before, you have different types of mandatory insurance for car insurance, right? Or different companies. This one particular company is all over the country and they, according to the guy, they provide the best coverage of all of them, right? I mean, for me, I use them because of ease of use and, in, and I just like the discounts they give. So. I recommend instead of doing it online to actually go to one of the branches and do it at one of the branches also with that coverage they will send it to your email and when they send it to your email you have to print everything out and then you have to have that with you in your car so after you after you pay they send it to your email and then you print everything out of course they will confirm all your information your name your date of birth um, the year of the car you know everything about you and, and everything about the vehicle also there's a secondary health coverage that they have which cost he said it's new started this year which costs twenty four thousand two hundred and fifty pesos right so this is the coverage right here if you guys can see twenty four thousand two hundred and fifty pesos for six months and then it covers all the necessities Hold on, my gloves. So it covers all the stuff like this in case you get hurt. It covers this, it covers this, this, and that. So basically like the things if you get hurt, um, if you're in the hospital, um, um, if you fracture something or get burnt, or if you die, <laughs> you're covered, right? Um, so, this coverage, depending on what it is, is lasts for six months, depending on what happens to you, lose your job, whatever the case may be, you get hurt at a job, you're in a hospital. Some of that stuff is covered for 10 days, up to two years, right? Depending on what it is. Now, the coverage is only that one price for six months, so it's not a monthly thing. You pay that one time, it covers six months, you don't have to renew it, and it's not automatically renewed. So if you choose to renew it after six months, you come back in, and you reactivate it. So once you get the coverage, you will get a card like this. They'll take a picture of you with the card and they show that you're covered. Now, I chose to get the coverage because I never know what might happen. 
and it's only 24,000 so it's probably like ten dollars for six months you can't really beat that also being a foreigner he said I was actually the first foreigner to get the coverage at that particular bridge so so we spoke about different countries and travel and stuff like that but being a full being a foreigner it doesn't matter as long as you're legal here and anything happened to you whatever the case may be it still counts if you have children whether they're here or in the US or you have family members whether they're here or in the US or any country in the world not not so much the US any country in the world you're still you're still covered and whatever the case may be and they will send money to your family members or whatever the case may be in your country of residence so I do recommend this like I said again it's non-sponsored but I do I do recommend Seguros Mundial so like I said again you can do it online or you can do it at one of the points of interest I recommend the points of interest that way you can get much more information he gave me a lot of information I'm not going to touch base on everything but that's just what I want to share with you guys right now so thank you once again for tuning in um, if you find this of interest please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like I got many more videos coming I got history videos um, once the channel continues to keep on growing, I would like to do giveaways and help out foundations and stuff like that. So thank you once again for tuning in. And like always, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next adventure. Peace.